For some countries, the Olympics is almost an unimaginable dream. It's really tough because some countries just don't have the resources. How big of a deal is the Olympics? Uh, it's the only deal. <laughs> If one individual can win, it will change their lives. It will change their families and their communities. We are up there where everybody is. With big, enormous hearts, with bare hands, with claws, with blood and tears, we can compete against giants. Esa dorada, con Dios adelante, nosotros la vamos a lograr. When we're traveling, some of the people ask us, where are you from? And then we said Vanuatu, and then they said, where is Vanuatu? and then we start winning a lot. And now they know where Vanuatu is. Vanuatu is a country with lots of perspectives that uh, still exist today. There are villagers here who still live a very traditional way of life. Well, Vanuatu has been voted the happiest place on the planet, and you can just see that when you walk around the street, everybody is smiling and happy. In Vanuatu, we live for peace. When we started the program, we asked the girls what their dreams are, what's their goals, and they didn't even know what a dream was. Because all they could see was their lives in the village. They never knew that they would be anything more than that. I was island, I was in year eight, and after school, I was in the spot. The girls weren't well educated reading and writing, and that's a struggle. So we run programs, maybe your parents can't afford you to go to school, but you can play sport. Go, 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 go. When they first went on tour, it was hard for me because it's like letting your children jump on the plane. So I'm the first time I travel, so I'm in a country. I feel like I'm so afraid, never me let go island. We nervous and then our God said, no, you can do it, and then we do it. It's my first time when I play the Olympic event. Then it's like a red silver, so pull up my only surprise. The team has the skills. So the more experience we can get, the more we can climb up the ladder. They take the little baby with them because she was breastfeeding. It's a dilemma for them because they do their job as mothers and then they also have to perform as professional sports people. Now my dream is to go to Olympic. That's a big dream. But the three men become one dangerous thing. A partir de ahora, a partir de ahora, nuestro equipo se llama República Dominicana. Eso. The Dominican dream is a dream for the better. And more often than not, 
That dream is located in faraway lands beyond the Caribbean Sea. I think there's a stereotype. They think everybody is just sort of hanging out at the beach and having fun, being lazy. This is a country where people hold three or four jobs just to survive, so we don't go a lot to the beach, actually. This is a poor country. The whole world of sports represents a path to success. Mainly baseball. You have the Sammy Sosas, Manny Ramirez, David Ortiz. For kids in, in the barrios, it could mean their way out of poverty. El boxeo aquí tiene una gran atracción entre los jóvenes de la República Dominicana. Ellos hacen boxeo un tiempo, eh, van a los Juegos Olímpicos. Six medals, but by male athletes. No women have ever won any medal in the Olympics. Ah, mira, que aquí hubo con guante desde chiquito. Siempre hubo guante. Yo fui selección de Sobol Molinete y bueno, una vez fui a entrenar Sobol. Y yo vi a esa muchacha que lanzó una bola del Lefir del Aljón y la puso detrás. Yo me paré de la silla y digo, caramba, mira qué material he echado a perder. Y yo la llamé, yo ven acá mi hija. Y me dijo, pues, pues ven mañana que te voy a enseñar a boxear. ¿Qué te gusta de boxeo? Todo, todo, todo. Y para nosotros ha sido una, una bendición, porque realmente es una buena boxeadora. Ama ese deporte, se entrega y nos ha dado muy buenos resultados. Para mí no es raro, para mí sino es más, es más una inspiración. Porque ver una, una dama en este deporte tan difícil, eh, practicando tan fuerte, sacrificándose tanto, para mí es un motivo de, de inspiración y, y de seguir adelante. La gente sabe que yo lo hago, lo hago de corazón, que a dar todo por el todo siempre que me subo arriba de un ring. Girls in this country need role models. Just to be important on your own. Estamos motivando a las jóvenes para que vean el ejemplo de Yanavier, hasta dónde ha llegado, que se puede, cuando se quiere, se puede. If a woman wins an Olympic medal, she would become a hero. Lesotho, it's a country inside South Africa where you think it's a dot, but it, there's a powerful things happening there. It's green and peaceful. No one will go hungry. They can always go to their neighbors and they will be helped. There's, there's no boundaries, there's no fences, literally. It's, it's beautiful, you can, you can run forever. Kali bisa ikut hepo kita papa dia lebih. We started participating in the Olympics as back as 1972. We we we've not had any medals. No one can compete with us in terms of running uphill, so that's an advantage. Outside Lesotho, everything will appear flat. Seppo is completely on his own. He hasn't got 
the support like any other runner. Bahananje na na lapim ma ni ni, hawa na mutha si bita, kina lemena ka baba na wala, hawa ka itle ka isi, ma ha si bita, ala ubu tata ola ba ubu tata ba ucha isa kyo koloi, jena len tatua ka muno, ola otla kyo stro ugu, rese le ba na ba kona na zwa le ba, kheba na ka ka ba hudi sa le ba na. Je lo kaba ke ho di site hana ja. He supports his family by competing and competing for money to feed the family. He doesn't really socialize or go out or or anything. He just runs. With running all you need is shoes, right? But even that he hasn't got the right support. This one is for 10 Ks. But I have to use them even in marathon. What he eats is papa. It's a very basic staple. It's like polenta, it's a maize, a very starchy. Well, I was shocked to find out his diet. I suppose it's a form of carb loading, but even then it's really, really basic, very meager. Basically his whole life is hinged on running. So he doesn't have any option but to be good. My kid's name is Chenina. She mom very important like for me. Yeah. Traditionally the family comes first. So the family is part of the team. It's just not one person you're dealing with. You're dealing with a whole family and sometimes a whole community. Cuando un boxeador sube arriba un ring con el apoyo de su familiar puede perder pero hay que matarlo ahí arriba porque va a perder peleando mi motivación es mi familia porque yo digo que yo saliendo adelante yo podré ayudarlo a ellos me va a ruñar me va a ayudar me va a Tú sabes que tú eres mi tía, no te quiero faltar el respeto. Este era mi abuelo. Él hacía algo, sí, pero que nunca... Pero siempre ponía a los niños a bolsear. Mi abuelo, eh, que en paz de cáncer, se sentía súper orgulloso. Él... <clears throat> eh, no, papi, siempre decía papi, eh, siempre estaba pendiente de mí en, en todo. Mi familia siempre me ha apoyado en eso. Ay, Dios mío, se la niña que no tira de la tía. Yo quiero tener mi familia. Quiero tener el mello. <laughs> Es que el bolseo, el bolseo es un sacrificio, Jenny. Tú sabes que es un sacrificio, porque tú sabes lo que tú has está sacrificado. Sí. Que tú has dejado el todo por el todo sí. por el bolseo. Me he tenido que, que sacrificar, o sea, respecto a tener mi familia, porque estoy buscando una meta. Si Jenny se embaraza, fracasa. Quienes vienen su bolseo es ahí. Ahí, Genevieve ya a las 6 de la mañana está en el parque esperando la guagua. A las 6 de la mañana y antes de las 6 cruza por ahí con su boutique. Yo pienso que esta sería su, su última oportunidad de participar y, y lograr una medalla en unos Juegos Olímpicos. Y este tiempo de ella, que ya como quien dice crucial, el tiempo va pasando y... <risa> Esperamos que vaya para la Olimpiada. Esa es lo que nosotros deseamos. Aquí mismo siempre cuando hay pelea ponemos la televisión en el parqueo. Y el barrio entero se vuelve loco. Se un escándalo por aquí, eso es lo mejor. En la última pelea fue verdad. En la última pelea no la pudo ver, pues se puso a llorar, empezó a llorar y salió para afuera llorando. 
You look rough now. You know, look. You understand how you must never want to work. You call a kitchen, say, is a ram kuta suspect. Mivla, old woman, living in Vanuatu. Rata, work for Rata, simple style of house. Was a cook, he was a small beginning. Me as a mommy, difficult to call Mama, well, he only play sport. Some of the men, they don't want us to traveling, they don't want us to playing like sport, they want us to stay at home. And they go overseas for two months at a time. They're leaving their four year old, six year old daughters at home. It's a big sacrifice that they're making. In the parents' premier, talk talk about them. I say, woman, you should stop the house. I mean, career, they may fight strong. Well, I mean, say, no, you're right. I accept it and support her. Yes. But if your husband says you're not going to play sports, they call it blocking in Vanuatu. Then that's it, finish. But when the girls have had problems, their fathers have been there, they know my daughter's going to do this. It's hard with my husband, so he had to me from... Sometimes he get hungry with me and... Lini have a problem with family right now, because all the people try to cut it down what Lini try to achieve. But he tell Lin, the win gets you. I want you to achieve the Olympic game. That's a man dead. Oh. All his winnings goes into building this house for his family, his, his brother and his, his parents. <laughs> There's a very strong sense of community here. We call it Ubuntu. It's uh, humanity. It's um, I am a person because of others. How I treat others is who I am. There's a strong sense of Ubuntu here. Entre <laughs> We are poor countries. We have no mega trainers or sponsors, so we compete in a disadvantage. Pero como peleamos con países de potencia, muchas veces que arriba del rincel de tripa corazón. So I'm on money to learn to learn to learn to start and to play beach volleyball. I'm going to play a strong spot. I'm going to play a strong spot. I'm going to play a strong spot.
calle triste La clasificatoria eh, para los Juegos Olímpicos en el 2012, que fue en China mi clasificatoria, y fue muy controversial porque no llegamos con tiempo para adaptarnos al horario. Ella me dijo que se sentía cansada. Lamentablemente, esa fue una de las fallas. que ese era mi pase en la clasificatoria. Y lloré, lloré mucho. Llora. ¿Por qué? Porque ella se entregó y hizo lo que podía para ganar. Llora de rabia. When the cyclone pump comes in radio, they give the warning to get people to prepare because will be damage, like like full damage. When the cyclone arrived in the middle of the night, it was devastating. It was catastrophic, if I can put it that way. Like you just hear everything flying, and you didn't even know if you're gonna survive the night. Okay, three, two, one, and go. After the cyclone, there was some horrible stories. Four, three, two, and one, break. Lynn was living in the Ten. church but the girls had three weeks to get to their first event. Go, and up. Yes, good. It's hard for me and Mila to leave country because of the cyclone, but it was our dream to going to Olympic, so we need to. We went to China. We got some shirts made, Vanuatu Steel Smiles, and the girls wore the shirts. They just said, we're going to do our job now. They won it. And this is after going through a Category 5 cyclone. Your house is being blown down, your family is living in a church, and you just come fifth in the world. Then I want to put that smile back on their face. It's just from right lineage. We wear them at the opening ceremony. Welcome to London and to the Games of the 30th Olympiad. How we how Kyananka Stadium high man represented the country in the London Olympics. It was only his second marathon ever in, in his life. And it was his first time outside of the country besides South Africa. So it was a bit overwhelming for him. How I got out of the opening ceremony, he led me through the speed. Can we get like a track? The chevalier no no, like a mara. Now can we get full? In a se, go on a on a saw, on a fish saw track a track a fella. Like a mad, go go. From what I saw on the telly, he was running quite well, but then he, he stopped. I was running quite well, but then he stopped. They have bailout buses. If you jump in, you're done. DNF did not finish. Officiala race and a fella, Honzo, Kepala Mekoloi. 
Temple didn't get onto the car and he finished. That's testament to him. Seppo um, finished last, um, uh, 20 minutes behind the second last person uh, in London. I feel like finishing, I get a deal at home. Like, I think I finished the moon. I don't know I don't know I don't know I don't know I I don't know I We're going to the church, Lord, to give us strength and power to play. I was saying, 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 I was in the name of Jesus, we pray to you, Lord. We ask that we can see your triumph in Amen. That with the favor of God, the meta of us now is Rio 2016. It's about faith. If you've got it in you, you know you could do it. At the Grand Slam last year, the number one ranked team in the world is Gillian Perry, which had just won the World Championships. And nobody believed that the girls could beat them. Even I didn't, to be honest. But they have a lot of vision. They say, this is what we're going to go for. We can do it. Brazilia in the driving seat. Rare moments. <laughs> Class from Vanuatu. And the girls beat them in three sets. Amazing upset. And when Mila got off the plane, I said to her, how did you beat the number one team in the world? She said, nobody believed that we could beat them, but we believed we could beat them. And when I lost it in China, and after I came here to the Republic of Dominican, I lasted almost 15 days that I didn't get out of the habitation. Llorando, no quería comer. Un par de días, sí, yo tuve que ella lo llamaba, eh, la visitaba y eso. No quería ver a nadie. Hasta que un día mi abuelo llegó tocando la puerta y me dijo, párate de ahí. Que, que esto, no, esto no se acaba ahí. Si tú quieres, tú puedes y lo mejor está por venir. Y en el 2000, él murió en el 2013. Y ahí mismo yo tenía la competencia, el continental femenino. Y no quería irme. Mi familia me decía, vete, ve, ve a esa competencia, que tú sabes que tu abuelo se va a sentir muy orgulloso de ti. Bueno, tocó el día de la pelea. Me dicen mis compañeras que arriba de ese ring yo era otra persona. Pero yo sí sentía que cuando peleé con esa persona, eh, eh, como que algo me empujaba, me sentía cansada, pero a la vez como que algo me, me, me ayudaba, como... Él me dijo, no te preocupes, que a esa le vamos a ganar. Él me estaba ayudando. Y le gané. Y yo sé que, que era la fuerza de él que, y los pensamientos que él me decía, nosotros vamos a ganar. When Sebo came back from London, he said, I have learned a lesson and I want to improve from my mistakes. Most athletes could have quit. I could have quit also. 
In fact, I take him to be a very brave athlete. So the World Championship Marathon for men gets underway. Benjini Megi Kapileting. Now we shall have to go to the Kerilek City. We are going to get some at the Hoha and the Ketrota. Well, interestingly, our leader here, Matibele from Lesotho, looking behind because he's building up a little bit of a lead here. The main I was shocked to see him at the two hour mark leading the race. He was 85th in the Olympic Games in London, 2012. Seppo Matabelli. He thought these guys were tired. He decided to just leave them behind and move. Yeah, can I get a hundred, hundred percent sure actually medal of gold deco ceremony? I always tell athletes that they must enjoy pain. Matibele, just starting to fade a little bit of cigar. The psychology, it's powerful. It's up to you to be able to overcome that test. And it's the 19-year-old Gabriel Selassie of Eritrea who's taken over the lead and they're being left trailing. It's been a... He made that move too early. Had he made that decision four kilometers after that, Sebo would have won in Beijing. It was hit. Very tough conditions out there. Yeah, it was very tough. But Next time I'll try more better. Thank you. Kafisha kaza boy mom balu shumele mite mene. Mene gile mutoto ka ka performance ya ka. I had the confidence in him. I said, now he's becoming a man. He can actually make a decision to do something on his own somebody who has the commitment to achieve his goals. What's the road to Rio look like? Right now we're just outside, so we need to focus on getting to Brazil for the Olympics, then we can look at what result we want to get. Now, me and Mila try our best to qualify to the Olympics. We need to fight and be strong. They've put in a lot, a lot of traveling times away from their families. We've committed so much into this journey that Rio is everything for us. They have the weight of the nation on them. The whole nation is behind them. They've defied barriers and they've overcome enormous obstacles. These girls make it to the Olympics. This region is going to go crazy and so will the world. If you're ranked in the top 16 teams in the world, you automatically qualify to the Olympics. Quiero traerme esa medalla de oro. Y ese oro, y ese oro tiene que traerla aquí porque... Que eso fue lo que ella quiso. Mi papá siempre lo quería eso. Rio would be to redeem himself. He wants to prove to himself and, and everybody that he is a top class runner. It's not last place. I think Zippo can win. He's got something inside him.
Pero yo voy a seguir adelante porque no hay barrera, no hay obstáculo, siempre se puede más. Kalele la mata de Ipumane, Emele Monguagona, Ipumana la corre que que ti. Tomorrow's a new day. I want to say to all the people around the world, be strong and try your best. If me and Mila can make it, then they gonna make it. So follow, follow the sun.